Hi guys! So in today's video I'm going to be doing a haul and I haven't done one of these in I don't know like half a year or something like that. I started adopting this more minimalist kind of style so I try not to spend a lot on just items that I feel like I don't see myself wearing in two, three, four years. So I've done that for quite some time like pretty much all of college so far. So I've been like trying to what is it? To cut down my wardrobe a lot. So the first item I have to show you guys is these pair of boots from the brand Clarks and if you guys don't know Clarks usually does all leather shoes. They have really high quality high standing shoes. So um, I went to the the what is that called? Outlet malls and I actually found these pair of shoes and unfortunately they can't fit me because they're a size 6 and I'm a size 8 but I couldn't pass the shoe up because I thought that I could at least like resell it or you know give it to somebody that would appreciate it more because I obviously can't fit it. I really 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 would keep it if I could fit it but I can't. So these shoes I would best describe them as like all brown but in some tints it does look not olive green a little bit. It has an inside zipper it's like super easy access you don't have to like push or pull the shoe on your foot or anything. The heel is about like one in one inch to one and a half inches and um, I got them for 140 so because I can't fit them I listed them on my Poshmark account and to basically sum it up Poshmark is like I would say eBay well some people say it's eBay and Instagram like combined because the selling aspect that you get from eBay selling all of your um, unused items anymore and then Instagram because of just like the fluidity of scrolling through your what is it feed so um, yeah the two things basically put together is what Poshmark is. So um, that's to sum it up really quickly. So I'll have these listed, or these are already actually listed on my Poshmark account. If any of you guys are interested, go check it out. Go check out my closet. See what you like. So that is my first item. My second item is this top from Free People, but I actually got it at Macy's. And if you guys didn't know, Free People is actually sold like at a lot of places, like a lot of big named department stores. So for example, um, Nordstrom Rack. Macy's. Obviously Nordstrom itself has it too. Um, what else? I know that free people sold at a lot of other places and the thrifty person I am, I'm always trying to find three, three people, free people pieces at a discounted price because it's obviously way too expensive and way out of my price range. But I've been looking for a top like this for a while and some of you guys are just gonna be like, Catherine, like, how many striped tops do you need? While that is true, <laughs> this one's a little different because of just how billowy, is that the word? Like it's just very flowy and it has like this almost like, it, it's kind of like business casual, but my dad did comment that it kind of looks like a farmer would wear the top, which I'm not, I'm not going to deny. It kind of does, but in the same way, it just, like any free people item, it has this very like boho feel to it. So um, yeah, it's just a super loose flowing. It's pretty much all threaded. So like on those days that are a little windy, like I feel like the wind go right through the top and everything and I'm just like shivering, but you know, if it's, if you look cute, you know what I mean? The next item I have is a pair of yoga pants. So I actually got these Nike um, yoga pants, or they're not really yoga pants, they're, they're called running pants because they have this different material and texture. So I've owned yoga pants from Victoria's Secret before, but they have more of like a cloth, more elastic feel. And the Nike ones, they do have this elastic stretchy feel, but it has this material that it immediately like soaks up any sort of sweat sort of water so I went hiking for like I would say three hours in these um running pants or whatever and I didn't feel any trace of sweat well when I wore my Victoria's Secret ones I really actually do feel the sweat just sink in there and it's just like cold and gross and grimy but um, the yoga pants really it's just dispels of any like water or any moisture so um, I really enjoy those. I got those for about $40. I don't know what the original price is because I got that on outlet price, which I thought $40 was extremely, extremely reasonable for yoga pants. Yeah, they have like a drawstring at the waist. I don't think that's really necessary. I think it's kind of actually useless, but I can understand when you're running, like your pants slowly just, I don't know if you guys understand what I'm talking about, but like when I'm running at least with my like yoga pants on, like my pants start to fall a little and then you have to do that awkward like pull up to like where your under boob is and it's just like keeps falling. But yeah, I guess that's what that tie string thing is for. But um, other than that, I love the pants. They're capris. I do see myself wearing them a lot because I've been needing a new pair. On to Levi's. So Levi's is like one of the stores that I have like rekindled my love for. I think Levi's is so, so, so underrated. But I 
personally it fits right up my alley and I love the styles there so um, the first thing I got from there was this um, it's just standard I'm pretty sure all of you guys have seen it it's like a standard crew neck it has the Levi's logo on it and I just thought that for those lazy days where I don't want to like put something on which is pretty rare for me so like my lazy day would probably still be putting a crew neck on and then maybe some like jeans or leggings second thing I got from Levi's is this off-the-shoulder top and let me tell you about the struggle I've got I've had with off-the-shoulder tops like I never found one that I really really like because either the shoulder sh elastic thing it would just like fall off it wouldn't stay like it wasn't tight enough or um, like the fabric it's too thin so when I found this Levi's off the shoulder top I was actually obsessed with it because not only did it fit extremely well like it just laid on my shoulders perfectly nicely they're having a deal that it was um, buy one get one half off so both of the items were $40 and so I got one item for obviously $20, so that evened out to be $30 each purchase. And then the last purchase that I got from Levi's, this was actually on a separate occasion. I was so surprised to see the, this um, Levi's Sherpa jacket on sale. Like, what? And I thought there was some defect, but I like checked it inch by inch to see if there was anything wrong with it and I ended up ask, asking the cashier why it was priced so low and apparently at some Levi stores I don't know if they're all Levi stores but if there's um, an online purchase and they the customer returns in store they'll actually half the price any of you guys are that are like Levi's aficionados like you guys know that the Sherpa jacket Sherpa the sh the Sherpa jackets usually retail for like plus tax and everything like that. It usually retails for about $150, but I got this for $50. That's with tax, and actually $49 to be specific. That's with tax and everything. So, um, yeah. Pat on the back. I can't believe I got a jacket for pretty much $100 off. So that was insane in the membrane. And then the last store I hit up was um, American Eagle. And they had a sale going on. And um, I, forgot, I think it was like 25% off pretty much everything. And so I got this top. So I think the sales section was... 50% off something something like that so I got the stripe top um, it's usually not my style at all but I thought stripes I can make it work for me so it has this like little collar it kind of reminds me a little bit of a, like a polo but like more of a relaxed polo <laughs> I don't know but it's just basically has like red white and blue stripes the next item I got is kind of just um what is this called like so basically it's just this camisole or tank has beautiful lace trimming it kind of looks like a night nightgown but like tank top form so like a nighty is that what it's called no clue but um yeah it's super elegant it looks extremely pretty and if I wanted to wear it more for like um you know casual wear I can just wear a pair like a plain white tee plain gray tee underneath it and I think that would be a definitely good look too so um absolutely love that top and then um last top I got from there is another piece that I don't really see myself wearing but when I had it on I was like oh this is nice so it's just basically this um, regular gray t-shirt but it has like the trendy like lace up detailing in the front area so um, what I like about it is you can adjust how loose or how tight you want the um, lace ups to be so if you want you know more of like a you know deep V or like cleavage I guess you can say um, you can expose it a little bit more if you want to be more covered up you have the you know freedom to like tie it up all the way so um, it's super elegant top you know you can transform it to any which way you want which I really like too. like you can wear it multiple ways and formats and whatever you want so um, the two the t the camisole and the um, lace up top were about $25 each and then the stripe top was $10 that is everything that I've pretty much bought in the past six months so you know to catch you guys up to speed check it out check out Macy's check out Levi's check out all these stores because they have great things like honestly I'm very 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 particular and picky with the stuff that I like but um, the stuff that I got I'm genuinely thoroughly happy about it and um, also check out my Poshmark check out my closet um, I really appreciate it you know take a little gander of what you like and uh, yeah so that is the end of my haul thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you guys next time bye